This video contains flashing lights, unsettling content, violent content, jump scares and sudden loud noises. Viewer discretion advised. Buddy! I can't help somebody who doesn't want to be helped. You're fired. The AAA game industry has tried to scare us with multiple big budget large scale horror titles. But with up and coming indie developers moving onto the scene, fresh creative takes on the genre have provided a frightening avenue for gamers to explore. From smaller scale visceral horror concepts to surreal psychological experiences, these are games that have sufficiently haunted many people, proving you don't need to be a big company to make a satisfyingly frightening experience. These are the top 30 horror indie games. Montas. Occupying the genre of first-person survival horror, Montas is a horror title that explores the idea of atmospheric tension rather than jump scares. You take on the role of Joseph Blocker, as he awakens at his desk and no one seems to be around. You're required to explore each area to work out how to proceed forwards, and discover what hides around the next corner. As you progress, you get the feeling you're being followed by entities that seem less than human and less than friendly. Unfortunately, this game has been trapped in early access for several years now, without showing signs of being completed. Due to this, there are a multitude of glitches and bugs that can break the game or break the immersion in rather debilitating ways. This is most obvious with the lack of enemy animation for most parts, that lead to foes literally flowing towards you listlessly. Montas is a game of unreleased potential in a prolonged period of incomplete status. If the game is ever completed, it may prove to be far more frightening than it already is. But as it stands now, the greatest horror of this game is that you still have to pay money to play it. The Void As a lost soul that fell into the void, you awaken in a dark, grim landscape almost devoid of color. Color is the source of all life in this dire world, and you will need to consume all you find to survive long enough to find a way back into the land of the living. Failure means falling into the nightmare abyss to be lost forever in darkness. You are not alone though. The void is inhabited by several sisters starved of color and imprisoned. They may help you if you are willing to share your color, your very blood. But be cautious, for giving color is taboo. The custodians and watchers of the void are the brothers grotesque combinations of flesh and machine who seek to maintain the delicate balance of color consumption in their domain and ensure the taboos are not broken. As you progress, you must avoid the wrath of the brothers and grow your own power with the help of color and the sisters, allowing you to stand against these threats. However, as you expand color, monsters will emerge to hinder your progress and drain you of every morsel you carry. Every drop you use will slowly decay the already dying land. The brothers will not sit idly by as you disrupt the natural order. The void is fragile, and even the slightest change could destabilize everything. Perhaps even shatter the world. Can you secure your escape from the void? What are you willing to sacrifice for your freedom? Or are you prepared to give up your very soul to save another? Shudder Inspired by classic fixed-camera perspective survival horror titles such as Resident Evil, Shudder sees the player taking control of a small RC car to investigate and document paranormal activities from a safe distance. With a camera attached to the head of the car, and even more upgrades available as you progress, instances of strange shadows and apparitions will appear, telling a haunting story that unfolds the further you die. Finding the ghosts is easy, but getting out with the proof, that's the hard part. <laughs> Dispatcher In the far off future, when humanity is exploring the unknown depths of space, one such craft called the Dispatcher, orbiting an exoplanet is where this horror game is set. Playing as a custom created character complete with class, traits, and a selection of body models, you must explore the ship to discover what happened, as well as secure access to the one remaining escape pod. 
The reports and logs indicate that a variety of fauna from the planet below is loose on the ship, as well as a deadly infection that has claimed some of the crew. You will be pursued by a randomly selected number of aliens or infected crew, each with their own behavior and methods of approach, all incredibly deadly, and will have no trouble tearing you apart. You have no means to defend yourself, no weapons. All you can do is run and hide, using all of your wits to evade their onslaught. They are listening for you. They are hunting you. They will not stop until they wipe you out and claim the ship for their own. Unlock doors, repair damaged panels, solve puzzles, and press onwards. And perhaps you may just save your skin before it is taken from you. Emily wants to play. You're just an average pizza delivery guy looking to make his final delivery for the night and then head home and put your feet up. Your job is already hard enough to get by with, but the minute you enter the home of Emily and her dolls, it gets so much harder and in the worst way possible. As soon as you step through the door, it's locked behind you, and for a second, there's a flash of a mysterious figure in white. From that point on, things go from bad to worse. You find yourself privy to the twisted whims of young Emily and her three doll minions who taunt you from hour to hour with challenges, as well as try their utmost to mislead you and ensure your certain death. Each character requires that you perform different actions, and just when you think you've gotten the hang of it, they're liable to creep up on you and snuff you out like a candle. To add even more intrigue, while you explore the abandoned rooms of this home, you can piece together the terrible story of Emily and why she ended up this way. Will you be able to make it home in one piece, or stay trapped in the sick children's playland forever? Distance the spiritual successor to Nitronic Rush, the devs at Refract Studio released Distance, a unique horror spin on the racing genre. Survival here is not a matter of crafting items or finding keys to help you advance, but simply driving through hazardous environments as fast as you can, avoiding danger literally around every corner. Neon lights dot the courses ranging from cityscapes to destroyed facilities, and the electronic music provides the perfect backdrop to exploring this dystopian future. Not only are there traps and obstacles popping up all over the place, but the course itself can take nasty turns, eating you up and spitting you out in tougher spots than where you started. Luckily, your vehicle is equipped with the ability to drive on any surface provided you have enough of a speed boost, bunny hop over gaps and sudden inclines, and fly limited distances. A platforming racing horror game that hurls you right into the action, leaving up to your skills as a player to live or die by the road. Perfection. A deadly infection is spread across humanity, which causes a multitude of horrific body mutations and deformities, creating all kinds of monsters and freaks. You take on the role of a special forces agent, part of the Brotherhood of Purity, tasked with finding the source of this infection and saving humanity. You've traced the source to an abandoned underground base, and so you enter alone unaware of the horror before you. Putrefaction draws heavily from other first-person shooter games such as Duke Nukem and Doom as you move from room to room finding a variety of deadly arms such as energy weapons, shotguns, and rocket launchers. You'll confront a selection of mutants and monsters with their own styles of attack and movement, usually in large swarms at set points. You're liable to paint the walls in blood as you mow down a multitude of enemies while descending further into the base. The horror in this game comes more from throwing swarms of monsters at you, forcing you into a corner rather than something more... psychological. How far can a one-man army really stand against a literal army of monsters and infected? Can you truly stand against the horde to discover the root of the infection and perhaps find a cure.
Monstrum. Monstrum is a first-person survival horror game that carries some random generation elements that ensures each session is different from the last. You are thrusted into the scenario of being on a large cargo ship all alone with a very simple goal. Escape with your life. You have three options to secure your freedom, but all options require some preparation before you can use them. Therefore, your goal is to gather all you need to prepare for your escape. However, as you search, one of three monsters will be on your tail. The Fiery Brute. The Nimble Hunter. Or the Mysterious Fiend. Each has their own method of approach and behavioral differences which require a variety of ways to evade them. You can run, you can hide, but you cannot defeat these monsters. All you can do is hold them at bay while you secure your escape route. As you fish through the notes and audio logs, it is revealed that perhaps the ship's owner has a greater role in why these creatures are on the ship at all. While finding the truth may help to understand what's happened, do you really have the time when your life is in constant danger? Perhaps you should focus your efforts on saving yourself before you go down with the rest of the ship. Wooden Floor Awakening in an empty house, you begin to explore your surroundings. Sooner or later, you'll notice a few strange occurrences, such as shadows and objects moving. When you try to backtrack to a familiar location, the rooms will have inexplicably shifted, creating a labyrinth-like maze. Despite being constantly able to be on the move, you won't be able to shake the uneasy feeling that something evil is lurking nearby, even once you've reached the outside world. But the puzzle doesn't stop there. You'll need to keep collecting keys and interact with any items that strike your curiosity to find the answers at the haunting's heart. Five Nights at Freddy's A seemingly innocent job offer asking for a night guard in a Chuck E. Cheese style restaurant becomes something far more unnerving and sinister as the truth unfolds. Five Nights at Freddy's forces you to spend six hours each night watching over the Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria establishment, checking security cameras to keep an eye on the star animatronics, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and Freddy. However, everything is far from normal during your shift as the animatronic mascots are prone to... wander around at night, and the only person to stop them is you. Since you're there after normal hours, they won't see you as a human, but as an animatronic endoskeleton without its costume on. Problem is... This isn't allowed, so these abominations will force you into an empty suit loaded down with many parts that would be deadly to your fragile human body. Your only defense is to use the cameras and hall lights to watch their approach, and use the security doors around your office to block their advance. Unfortunately, power is limited and all these actions cost you precious power. You cannot run. All you can do is hunker down and hope you can balance your power usage to survive until morning. You must be fast, and you must be vigilant, or you will never see the light of day ever again. Well, except maybe your eyes and teeth poking out the front of the suit. Lone Survivor What you thought would be a brief quarantine within your apartment while a dangerous infection spreads through the public becomes a fight for survival. Horrific mutations have been left behind in the wake of humanity's demise, and in order to live long enough to find out the cause of it all, you'll have to utilize the shadows to sneak around the monstrosities, scavenge for supplies, and discover the secrets hiding the truth. Jasper Byrne's use of shadows and minimalism in its 2D graphics managed to generate a terrifying level of fear and tension in exploration. If you have any affinity for the scary and unexplained, it would come as no surprise if you knew about the Dyatlov Pass incident. In 1959, a group of nine students went to explore Kolatsyakil, a famous mountain in Russia, and they never returned. Their causes of death were partly attributed to hypothermia, but others were found with severe physical trauma, which were never explained. 
The group were all experienced with similar terrain and had no reason to simply pass away. And so, you have headed out to find exactly what happened in that fateful February. You have no access to a map within the game, so you must stumble through the harsh wilderness, trying to recognize what few landmarks you can make out in the midst of the blizzard. As you progress through the game, you'll find scraps of journals that the students wrote, as well as mysterious reports that provide you clues as to what really happened. However, as you walk through the snow, it almost feels as though something is... following you. Do you have the guts to be able to find out exactly what that is? The Consuming Shadow From the mind of Ben, Yahtzee, Croshaw, the Consuming Shadow drags you into a world of a Lovecraftian nightmare. In 60 hours, the Earth will be invaded by a hellish deity that will consume all in its path. Your only option is to perform the banishment ritual. However, you need to uncover the runes of the ritual and discover which god you need to banish. So begins your adventure to gather clues and explore dungeons while the time limit is constantly counting down to the end of the world. The silhouette graphics will only show you the shadow of yourself, as well as the many horrors that seek to destroy you and corrupt your mind. Your only defense is a gun, any spells you discover, and your wits. Experiences are randomly generated each time you play to ensure knowledge from previous sessions proves worthless. In spite of this, death does not mean the end, for each play session will grant you perks for next time. But take care, for your mind is as fragile as your body, and the constant bombardment of psychologically warping attacks may result in you losing your grip on reality and eventually the will to keep going. Maybe it would be easier to go out on your own terms, if you can discern if they are indeed yours. After all, how can one person hope to stand against the overwhelming might and will of a god? Lakeview Cabin Collection A lovely yet often comedic take on the slasher genre of the 70s and 80s, the Lakeview Cabin Collection developed by Roop Tamman lets you see how you would fare in a survival horror film setting. You play as a variety of protagonists, each with their own hair color, all dropped into a sandbox of your typical haunted camp on the lake. Here you will find an assortment of items to lay traps, make weapons, and just generally have fun with, as well as a set of nightmarish monsters and murderers who will try their utmost to put an end to all of your fun. Maybe you will find it's not as easy as you think it is to survive at a night in the cabin in the woods. Never Ending Nightmares What happens when your life feels like a dream you can never escape from? Never Ending Nightmares will take you on a cycle of constantly facing your darkest thoughts. From the mind of Matt Gilgenbach, who bases on his own struggles with depression and OCD, you are put in the role of Thomas Smith as he awakens from a nightmare of stabbing a young girl. So begins the slow descent into nightmares in order to discover the truth about Thomas and who the mystery girl was. Throughout the game you will be faced with grotesque monsters, as well as deeply disturbing glimpses of self-mutilation and graphic scenes of death. This provides a subtle indication that Thomas has a very disturbed mental state. Should you die in the game, you will reawaken in your bed, as your cycle of nightmares never ends to torment you. It is revealed that the girl is someone you know well, but who they are to you will only become clear in one of several endings the game holds based on the path you choose. As for Thomas, well, by the conclusion you will discover just how much of a troubled mind he has, and the sheer horror of what he has faced and done to himself. In the end, the true nightmare is not what we find in our dreams, but what we are forced to face in reality. The true, never-ending nightmare. Knock, knock. What happens when the barrier between dream 
and reality becomes so blurred you cannot tell which is which. Knock Knock is an example of this created by Ice Pick Lodge. You take on the role of the enigmatic lodger as he is awoken from his slumber to find his door mysteriously opened. Upon searching around outside and finding his way back, he returns to his dreams. Here, the lodger is expected to wander his home finding strange clocks to bring the dawn ever closer and perhaps finally wake up. However, the dreams are not as safe as one would expect. Other guests will breach into the house and seek to find you and keep you locked in your nightmares by delaying the coming of dawn should they find you. The guests can only be seen in the dark as they are invisible when in the light. But to find the clocks, one must turn on the lights in each room. Only through illumination can the contents of the room be revealed. And so begins the terrifying game of hide and seek between you and the guests. As you seek out the light of day, but also discover more about who the lodger is. All is not as it seems. Notes begin to appear as you explore that seem more like the ramblings of a madman than a rational mind. Combine this with the absurd fragments of reality that can be found in the deep, dark woods poses the ultimate question. Is the lodger real? Is the house real? What is dream and what is reality anymore? Perhaps there is a greater threat within the woods than the ones found in the dream world. You may Nikki, Dream Diary. We all sleep, and most of us dream, at least once in a while. But what would happen if you couldn't escape from the worlds created in your dreams? your nightmares. You May Nikki explored this in its original iteration, and You May Nikki Dream Diary carried on the legacy in 3D form with the full blessing of the creator. You play as a young woman called Manatsuki, who lives as a recluse in her apartment, and even when she sleeps, she cannot escape. When she closes her eyes and drifts off, she has to deal with the twelve different worlds in her mind, and find the objects that are scattered throughout their landscapes. These objects allow her unique powers and abilities to bypass puzzles or to interact with the NPCs. Some of the locations are more pleasant than others, but some are straight up terrifying. There's a lot to uncover in this game, though perhaps the most eerie thing is the seemingly endless journey that you find yourself on. And the fact that even escape does not come with true freedom. Penumbra, Black Plague Penumbra Black Plague is an explorative horror experience from Frictional Games, the same team that would later go on to make Amnesia the Dark Descent. You take on the role of Philip Buchanan, the same protagonist from the previous Penumbra Overture, as he recalls his experiences. Delving into his tale of horror, you're taken through a strange facility trying to uncover what has been going on and what happened to everyone. Monstrous noises can be heard down the corridors and strange forms passing by windows and doors. These obscure bipedal creatures that chase you through the halls are in fact human bodies infected with a strange virus that links them together as a hive mind. You're forced to solve a variety of puzzles in order to explore deeper into this growing nightmare. As you travel the facility, a voice can be heard in your mind, at first confused but soon becoming more hostile and sarcastic using terms like monkey. This is Clarence, a manifestation of the virus that you yourself are now infected with. Clarence will spend his time trying to trick you and scare you by manipulating how you see the world around you, at first seeking to be free from you via death, but gradually growing accustomed to being an individual. As you continue your investigations, it's discovered that the virus has its own central intelligence and Clarence is separate from them. But what does a hive mind seek to do with humanity? What is its intentions? And 
Can you rid yourself of Clarence before he fully takes control of your mind and body? Uncanny Valley The phenomenon of Uncanny Valley indicates situations where things appear and seem like reality. But there are just some things that feel a little off. Therefore, this game's namesake is certainly apt. Entirely made up of pixel art and where every single action you choose to take has immense consequences, it pulls no punches from the get-go. You start out playing a security guard in what may be a prison, but could be some other kind of facility. It seems like just another boring, ordinary night. And so you decide it's time for you to learn more about the place where you work. However, there's things that people should not know, let alone go looking for. As you trawl through this immense building, you begin to learn a host of unpleasant things, and then start to encounter these same unpleasant things. The game tries its best to prevent your death, however. That doesn't mean you can just get through unscathed. There are some things out there that are worse than death, as you're more likely to find out. Inside. Playdead's follow-up to Limbo places the character in the shoes of another child wandering the woods, but this time it goes below and beyond. The boy in red ventures past checkpoints and across farm fields before diving underwater and infiltrating the secret facility. All the while, masked soldiers and zombified humans litter the path forwards as you platform your way deeper and deeper into danger. Dealing with themes of mind control and inhuman experimentation, the overwhelming odds and daunting environments, from the largest atrium to claustrophobic vents, brings a chilling cold fear with every puzzle. The possible meta-implications of the plot as well add a lovely layer of freakishness to this wonderfully chilling title. Slender, The Arrival. One of the most recognizable games based in the Slenderman mythos, Slender The Arrival takes the original concept of Slender and weaves a deeply disturbing story of death and rebirth within. You play as Lauren who has gone in search of her friend Kate. When it becomes clear Kate is no longer home under disturbing circumstances, a scream is heard from the back gate. Lauren must venture out into the woods to find out the truth. Armed with only a flashlight, you are stalked at every turn by the Slenderman, a large, human-like figure with no face and a business suit capable of teleportation. As you make your way forwards through the woods, you will be actively pursued by the Slenderman as you gather eight pages. This does not mean the end, though, for you will be led to a mine where Slenderman will pursue you, along with a small child-like creature called the Chaser. Looking through the varying documents and videotapes found on your journey, you will discover the fate of your friend, as well as the story of other missing children at the hands of Slenderman and his proxies. It is revealed that while Slenderman can kill, he can also capture and turn victims into loyal minions who do his bidding. Suddenly, it will become clear what happened to the missing children in Kate. In the end, was it really worth seeking out the truth when it means becoming hunted by the Slenderman? Which leaves one haunting question. Are you fated to be prey or proxy? Limbo. Arguably one of the most popular games on the list, Limbo has achieved cult status with a dedicated following of gamers. 
A puzzle platformer driven by a simple story and no dialogue, it makes for an eerily sparse game. You begin the story as a young boy lost in the woods, looking for his sister, with all of the world around you set in monochrome. The forest, however, is not all it seems, and you find out very quickly that even the slightest of mishaps will result in your gruesome and often rather inventive death. From being impaled with spider legs and spikes to drowning, being crushed by a variety of objects, and finding yourself trapped in the inner workings of a massive mystery machine, there is seemingly no end to the amount of torture that you can endure. In your long-standing mission to find your sister, small threads of hope are given to you throughout the game, but are never quite as satisfying as you would like. However, the question of whether or not you will escape the twisted hell you are in is a different matter, and it will take a lot of puzzle solving and bizarre deaths to get there. Soma. There's just something about the whole atmosphere of Soma as you take your first steps into the Pathos 2 complex that will fill you with an entirely new sense of dread. The facility used to be a state-of-the-art research center, filled with some of the world's best and brightest, but when the rest of the planet was struck by a massive comet, they found themselves as Earth's sole survivors. However, slowly but surely, they began to change, with their useful inventions proving to cause more harm than good. What's now left within the facility are the horrific husks of the researchers and computers, all in different forms and without the humanity that once set them apart. Simon, the protagonist, agrees to assist a woman called Catherine in her final mission to find a device called the Ark, which contains scans of the brains of all the former employees and send it into space. The Ark is the very last bastion of human life that can be salvaged, but making it through Pathos 2 alive and with your sanity may be harder than you expect. Little Nightmares In the middle of the ocean sits an underwater resort called the Maw, where the world's richest and most powerful elite live their days in isolated paradise. But when Six arrives and discovers the shifting insides of the ladies' quarters, the bloody grime of the kitchens, and the dang confines of the prison, it is clear that the residents are far less human than they appear to be. Utilizing puzzle solving and platforming elements, Tarzer Studios presents the player with an appealing yet horrific visual style, melded with a sense of dread that builds. The deeper you traverse into the depths of the mall, once you find what you are looking for, you manage to make it back out alive? Pony Island from the moment that you boot up this game, it's pretty clear that you should not be playing it. Designed to seem like a cute little game about keeping your own ponies, presumably on an island, Pony Island hides a plethora of nasty little secrets in its mock arcade cabinet. A bewildering puzzle game, you eventually unravel the secrets of the game, finding that your soul's in jeopardy as the demon in the machine tries to steal it from you. To escape alive and to find out how to resolve the mystery of Pony Island, you will need to follow the portals and work out the codes to be able to escape this messed up arcade game. The game becomes increasingly sinister as you progress, and left with no direct instructions, you'll have to do your best to ensure that you can get out of this mess that you found yourself in. Deadlight Side-scroller games are in short supply on the modern games market, Largely considered to be a relic of the 90s, they have a tendency to rely entirely on nostalgia or be posited as internet flash games. Deadlight breathes new light into the genre, and with this brings a new brand of fear. Randall Wayne, who has, until the outbreak, lived a very formal life as a park ranger, finds himself in the midst of the end of days. The first time you encounter him, he is shooting a fellow traveler in the head after she has been turned into a shadow. The main aim of the game is to safely guide him to the last known safe point in the United States and perhaps the world, but the journey is by no means a simple one. The atmosphere of the game is poignant, and will stay with you long after you finish the title, and the ending will prove to make its mark on you as well. Deadlight is the kind of game for only the bravest of survivors. Are you one of them? Outlast 
As a freelance journalist, Miles Upshur must document the grisly slaughter at the Mount Massive Asylum, where a seemingly supernatural creature known as the Wall Rider roams the halls. However, it's not all that exists here to torture Miles. The disturbed inmates, known as the Variants, obey the orders of Father Martin, who enjoys toying with Miles as he stumbles his way closer to death at every turn. Using your camera, you can take notes of important information as well as see using night vision. The dread never ends for a moment, and you'll need every ounce of adrenaline to keep you moving to the end. It'll fail. Layers of Fear All you want in this world is to be able to sit in your studio and finish your masterwork. The painting that will truly put you on the map as one of the greatest artists who have ever lived as an absolute master of the craft. However, as soon as you complete the first layer of the painting, it becomes apparent that your state of mind is not quite what it once was. The secret horrors that lurk in the dark corners of your brain slowly become increasingly apparent. And there's a lot more to your art than most would be able to see at face value. The descent into madness and the horrific fate of your loved ones torments you more and more as the game progresses. And every choice you make will result in it being added to the score. There are ways for you to get out of this alive with some semblance of sanity still intact, but to manage that every action you take and every thought you have must be carefully mediated. As you find yourself responsible for more and more destruction, it will be a delicate balancing act to separate what is real and from what is not. Will you finish your magnum opus in time for the generations to come, or be consumed by your own mind? Among the Sleep Crowbite Studio brings you an eerie interactive experience, all from the perspective of a toddler. Suddenly all alone, but for his new toy teddy, a sentient stuffed bear doll, you must crawl and stumble through your darkened home, a misty playground, and a rundown house in the forest before tackling what lies deep within the closet, all while pursued by various monsters. The environment and enemies paint a subtle story woven together with echoes from the past and symbolism. A mixture of clear vulnerability, your diminutive size, and the unnerving ambience serve to keep you on edge throughout the game's entirety as you search for memories to reclaim. Originally available on PC in 2014, the 2017 Enhanced Edition, later released on console in 2019, also features a prologue and alternate ending to the nightmare, one that hugging your best friend tightly won't keep you safe from. Amnesia The Dark Descent Having achieved fairly well what could be cult status at this point, Amnesia The Dark Descent is often lauded as the pinnacle of the indie horror genre. You play the character of Daniel, who awakens in the dark, gloomy castle with a very little memory of who he is, let alone how he ended up there. He finds a note that tells him his memory erasure is intentional, and that he is pursued by something far more menacing than he can allow himself to remember. He is tasked with finding some means of escape from these tortured halls. However, this does not come easily. There are puzzles upon puzzles within the castle, and more often than not, these are followed closely by the ominous creatures that haunt the dark. While you do this, you must maintain your sanity by finding sources of light, and, as you cannot fight the monsters, you must use laudanum to heal your wounds. Whether or not you can escape Brennenburg Castle and the cruel devices of its puppet masters is something that will take every bit of brains you can muster. Did you enjoy the video? Why not click the bell icon and subscribe to see more content from us at Tats.Videos. And now let's see the creators of this video.